Hello and welcome to my channel Diligent Make. And in today's video, I would be addressing the issue related to, you know, the launch of Elastic Search. Elastic Search. In my earlier video, uh, where I was addressing the issue related to the launch of Logstash. So after you know, successfully finding the solutions to it, now I'm facing the issue by launching Elastic Search. So let me just show you that issue first, and then we will talk about the solution. So in this in my elc stack folder here is my elastic search and inside the bin folder when i try to run this window batch file for elastic search so it doesn't run okay so when i try to run my command prompt inside this folder and try to figure it figure out what the issue is so i just I'm just going to type elastic search hmm. So this is my issue. Error missing server JVM at the, this uh, this uh, folder inside bin server jva.dlm. So this is the issue and the solution which my command prompt is providing is to either install or use the JRE or JTK that contains these missing components. So let me just elaborate this issue in detail what it is trying to say. If you just look at the flow C drive, program files, Java, JRE, bin, server, and this is required, jvm.dll, to run my Elasticsearch. So let's just follow this flow. From my this PC, I'll go to my C drive, and then program files, x86. Then inside my Java folder, I'll go to JRE, and then inside my bin. So here is the problem. I do not have any server folder. Okay. And what's the flow which my command prompt is saying? It has to reach jvm.dll via server folder. Okay. So now inside my bin folder, I do not have my server folder. All right. And uh, in order to know the jvm.dll, where it is, just click in, the, uh, I need to click inside this client folder. So here is my jvl.dll, the application extension. So for in this case, what I need to do is I need to first create a server folder. Okay. So I'll create a server folder. And after creating this folder, and I need to make sure the spelling is correct. Okay. Because, um, you know, otherwise it will create another error. So after creating my server folder, now from the client folder, I need to copy all this content. Okay, inside the server folder. I need to paste this inside server folder. After giving all the required permissions. So now my work is done. Let me just run my uh, Elasticsearch again. Now I'm facing another issue. What is the another issue? Error occurred during initialization of VM. I cannot reserve space that is up to two gigabytes. So no need to worry about, this is just a bug from the, you know, Elasticsearch. And in that case, what I need to do is, I need to go inside my Elasticsearch folder. And this time, instead of going inside bin folder, I need to go inside the config folder. And inside the config folder, we have this jvm.options file. I need to right click on it, and then I need to edit it in Notepad. Here you could see this line. Let me just point it out. My minimum initial size and my maximum size of the heap has been set to two gigabytes. Here it is, 2G, XMS, 2G, and then XMX, 2G. That means my initial and my maximum heap size has been set to two gigabytes. So here, what I need to do is I need to change it to a lower number. For example, let me set it to one gigabytes. So I just press one here. And also I need to press, just a moment. I need to press one here as well. You can even lower that number. You can write 512 M, uh, M represents megabyte and G represents gigabyte. Okay, since I have that much memory space that I could, uh, I could set the heap size to one gigabyte. So I've done that. And now I'm going to save it, okay. Now, after saving it, 
I just need to start my Elasticsearch again. So now, now my Elasticsearch is running successfully with no issues. So these were my solutions to tackle this problem, which was related, uh, which was related to Elasticsearch. So if you have found this interesting, so please um, like and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Thank you so much and have a great day. Namaste.